Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, February the 8th, the eighth day of vlogging times. But the world is not is love, sweet love. And I just got to work getting ready to go in and do some work. I'll be in. I work till later today. Yay. Good morning, everybody. So, just laying in bed this morning, trying to get my arm to heal. Oh, hi Peanut. Peanut wants to be in the vlog. Do you want to be in the vlog? So, uh, anyway. Got to use the bathroom. The boys are up. They just woke up a little bit ago. Um, Brad went to work a little while ago. So I thought I'd just lay here and rest. I feel like, I feel like a bum just laying around. and sitting around all the time with this broken wrist, but that's part of the healing process, I guess. Gotta get rest for it to heal. I'm just not used to doing this so much for like what, I'm going on the, going on the fourth week since I broke it and I've been off work. I've never been off work that long. The longest I've ever been off work has been since I've been 16. I've worked ever since I've been 16. Well, I had my first job at Burger King when I was 16, and then I worked there from like June till November, and then I quit there because I was working really, really late and I had school. They were making me close, and I wasn't get out till like one o'clock in the morning, and I had school, so I quit there in November, and then I didn't work. So I guess I didn't work for four months after that. I didn't work till March. And then I got my other job at a gift store at the mall. Um, but ever since then, I've worked steadily. But the longest I've ever been off has been two weeks. When I had a two-week vacation when I was a mail carrier. I didn't mean to put two weeks in together, but somehow I did my vacation wrong. And I ended up doing two weeks at the same time, so I went ahead and took it. And, uh, but yeah, that's the longest I've ever been off. It's been two weeks. I was off work for a while when I was a mail carrier. I broke my finger and um, had surgery on that, but I wasn't off as long for that because I could still do stuff pretty easy with, I just had a little splint on these two fingers here on the end. So, I mean, I could still use my hand kind of well and my wrist. I just couldn't use those two fingers, which you don't really use those fingers all that much. You can still kind of use these fingers and stuff, and so I was able to go back to work pretty quick after that surgery. So yeah, but I've never been off for like this long of a time. So, yeah, anyway. I think I'll get in a shower here in a little bit. I'm going to take a shower. And then, um, just be hanging around the house today. Um, but especially with the ice and stuff like this, I don't even want to get out because it's icy and I'll pass. I'm not trying to fall again. So yeah, that's about it for today. Um, Brad works till like I think 5 or so and then he'll be home. Or 4. I think he gets out at 4. What's up guys? Just got off work. On my way home. Had a busy day today. See if Brent wants to go to the store today, see if he's filling up to it or not. Because we're supposed to get ice, I guess tomorrow is what, I thought it was Monday, but they're saying tomorrow. Now, that's what my client just told me, so. So I guess we'll see. So get the store out of the way today, then that way we don't have to worry about it. Marco don't work today and be a good day to go to the store. So I guess we'll, see what's going on all right guys so i'm home and we're gonna sneak in here and we're gonna scare ralphie What are you doing? What is that? I'm a good player. Watch. Put this thing on my screen. I'm going to put this 
Oh, what? What do you mean? Digging noodles. You want me to I know, just I have the first. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, it's a Oh. No, I missed. Whoa. Yay. Okay, come on. No one touch me. Okay, so Brad got home from work. He's working on the banister. He was sanding it a little bit. We're just sanding it lightly before we stain or put the paint. Are we doing a stain? Stain. It's a gel paint. Gel paint on that part and then the top part. And then we're doing the poles in the middle white. The same stain as we put on this and this will go on the bottom. Yeah. I'm freezing. I have my jacket on. So cold, I cannot warm up. I've been wearing short sleeve shirts though because it's just I couldn't really get it through my arm. But I could probably take this off and put the short sleeve or the long sleeve shirt through it, but it's just it's just easier to wear a t-shirt. So I just put a jacket on, but this jacket's falling off my shoulder here. So yeah. Okay, what's your point? He can't remember where he parked. Trying to get this. Um. This leaves us with our third subject. Bannister finished here. Brad's sister and brother-in-law, our sister and brother-in-law, and niece Kaylin came over. She made dinner. She made dinner. Mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. I thought we were playing games tonight, not going out to party. Good afternoon, guys. It's one o'clock and I just got out of bed. Can you believe that? Brett let me sleep in and I look a mess and I don't care. The bed's a mess. I don't care. I just got up. Yeah, so Brett let me sleep in because I've been like working my tail off. Like, <clears throat> not just working my tail off, but getting up early every day with the kids to get them to school, trying to help Brett. <clears throat> I haven't slept a whole lot at the beginning when Brett ref broke his wrist because I was always afraid of hitting his wrist and hurting him and all that. So I haven't slept a whole lot and I've been really freaking tired. And so Brett let me sleep in today and I woke up at like 1, 1 30 actually. So Ooh. yeah. Oh well, I enjoyed it. It was nice. So thank you, babe. Good afternoon, everybody. So we're getting ready to go to the store. I got my broken wrist story shirt on from Ricky today. Um, we were making the grocery list out. I was going through and rewriting it in order. How many of you do that? Do you write it in order of the store? Like, you know, we go over, we go to Walmart, we go to the health and beauty first, get like toothpaste, mouthwash, all that stuff, deodorant. Then we go back and then go over to like where the pet stuff is for kitty litter and all that kind of stuff. And then we work our way over like to that side of the store. And then we go over to the back to where the groceries is and where the water is and everything and milk. And then we work our way forward to the grocery department in the front where the produce is. So I tried to make the list like where the health and beauty stuff is first on the list and then put where we go in the store first so it's all in order. That way I'm not looking through the whole list every aisle we go through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Cause it's, I always tend to miss stuff. So I figured I'd do it this way and then take a pen and scratch everything off we get it and maybe it'll be easier. So I don't miss stuff that way. It just takes a little bit longer cause you gotta go through the whole list and do that before you leave. But we'll see if that works better this time. So we're getting ready to leave here in just a minute. Okay, so we're stopping at all the... Brad parked a mile away, because they don't want nobody <laughs> hit his car, so I'm freezing, walking a mile to the store. Not really. Marco's got shorts on. That's like cold. I mean, the baby's crazy. It's not as bad as it was earlier. I was shivering earlier. It seemed like the wind calmed down just a tad bit. So, Marco wanted to say hi to everybody. No, I didn't. Turn that off. They're so we're... In the store. So we're in Aldi and it's a lot busier than it normally is on a Sunday because for one thing we don't normally come on Sundays because I'm always at work. So we usually shop on our days off on Tuesday or Wednesday. And now I know why because it's crazy on a Sunday. And I'm 
sure it's just the same on Saturday. So we just left Walmart and note to self, don't come to Walmart on Wednesday anymore because they're Wednesday. out of a lot of stuff. Or Sunday, they're out of a lot of stuff. And they're busier than heck. Yeah, but busier I think than normal. because everybody's there on a Saturday and then, well, it's what, fourth? Well, clock. we're supposed to be having bad storms tonight, too, yeah. so that don't help. It doesn't help, but they were out of a lot of stuff we needed, but usually we go on Wednesdays and uh, they're more stocked up. On, during the week than there on the weekend, especially on a Sunday, because um, a lot of people go on Saturdays as well. So, especially towards the end of the day on Sunday, you're getting the slim pickings on choices of stuff. Slim chickens. But, uh, yeah. So, now we're just, we have to have a price shepherd to get our um, meat and produce, and then that's it. Alright, oh, so we made it. plenty of room. We made it to our last Stop. Price chopper. And I'm about to pass out because I'm starving. Price starving. He's always hangry. He's hangry. I'm gonna rip someone's head off. We'll see how busy they are here. They don't look as busy as the other stores. So we just got home from the store, put everything away, and now we're having dinner. Brad cooked some steaks out on the grill. Yep, in January or February. Feels like January is still February. We cooked steaks out on the grill. Shoot, we had, remember when we I used the grill all year? Yeah. Snow, rain, it don't matter, I use it. And then we're just having, we have a bunch of leftover sides from meals from this past week we got some corn we got green beans we got some potatoes we got some macaroni and cheese so we're just gonna have those sides along with the steak so we ate dinner an hour just watching the grammy awards they've been on for a couple hours now since the third hour now So I thought I'd show Phoebe real quick. Some people have commented that they haven't seen Phoebe for a little bit. We saw we showed Peanut the other day, but we haven't showed Phoebe. Phoebe, say hi to everybody. She loves laying on the couch. She comes up here when we're watching TV and lays by us. Don't you, Phoebe? Don't you? You tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? Alright guys, it's the end of the vlog. Can we go to bed here in a little bit? Mm-hmm. I caught Brad before he has his shirt off. <laughs> I'm always like, you always have your shirt off when I end the vlog. You don't waste no time getting ready for bed. And I said, let's end the vlog. And so I acted like I was going to take my shirt off. <laughs> He's like, no! I've actually been sleeping with the shirt on because I've been getting cold at night. Sometimes I take it off, but some if it's like real cold in the winter, I'll keep it on sometimes because I get kind of cold. I don't know. But uh, yeah, in the summertime, I don't though. So anyway, we're going to uh, wait and see what it does for weather tomorrow. It's supposed to be icy tomorrow again. It's 6 in the morning to like 10. So we'll see what and happens. we're supposed to get some snow too. Like snow and ice, but it's mm -hmm. supposed to be right around the freezing mark. So I don't know if it's going to do much or not. So I don't know if the kids will have school. It depends on if it starts getting bad before they get to school. Marco goes in, he leaves like at 7, almost 7.15 for the bus. Mm -hmm. 10 after 7. A lot later than you did last year. Yeah, and Ralphie didn't go until 9, so if it's bad enough, Ralphie might get canceled, and I don't know if it'll be canceled by the time Marco goes to school or not. Depends on how bad it'll be, or if it gets bad or not, who knows. They're saying that it's supposed to be warm enough. It's not supposed to do anything except for on overpasses and stuff, so we'll see. Yeah. But Marco will probably wake me up in the morning so I can take him down to the bus stop 
if it's um, icing or raining or whatever because it's got to walk quite a ways to get to the bus stop. Not really quite yeah. a ways, but to the end of the street. Yeah, the block down there, which is... Yeah. So when it's raining and stuff, I tell him to wake me up so we don't have to stand in the rain. And I just take him down there. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogging Times. Day number 11. Good night. Good night, y'all. Thank you.